Hi everyone, welcome back to Carpe Diem Sailing. If you're new to the channel, my name is Marco, I'm a Sail Canada cruising instructor, and in today's video we'll be talking about the magnetic compass. Welcome to episode 36, The Magnetic Compass. For show notes and helpful checklists, please go to www.carpediumsailing.com slash show notes. I have included a link in the description below. And now, let's get started. Nautical charts are oriented to the North Pole or True North. Compasses point to Magnetic North, which is about 500 kilometers or just over 300 miles to the south. It also shifts around. The difference in angle between true north and magnetic north is called variation. You may have also heard it called declination, but in marine and aeronautical navigation, it's called variation. The term declination is seen on topographic maps and is also used in celestial navigation. Do not confuse declination with deviation, which is the error induced on a compass by local magnetic influences. More on deviation coming up, but for now, let's get back to variation. True North, or the North Pole, is where all the meridians of longitude meet. Magnetic North is further south, so from anywhere on the planet, if you are east or west of True North, relative to Magnetic North, variation will be easterly or westerly. If you happen to be on a line where the two line up, variation is zero. The compass rose is printed on the chart and indicates the direction of True and Magnetic North. As I mentioned earlier, magnetic north shifts around, and the amount of change in minutes annually is marked in the compass rows. Ideally, you should always use the most current chart available, but this is not always practical, so if you are using an older chart, you will have to correct for the current variation. In this example, we see that the variation in 2005 was 18.5 degrees east, with an annual change of 9 minutes west. It is now 2021, a difference of 16 years. 16 times 9 equals 144 minutes, or 2 degrees and 24 minutes. We round this off to 2 degrees. So the annual change over the last 16 years has been approximately 2 degrees west. Since the variation is easterly and the annual change is westerly, we subtract 2 from 18.5, leaving us with a variation of 16.5 in 2021. I will get into how to correct a bearing for variation in a little bit, but for right now I want to get into deviation. Deviation is the error created by magnetic influences on the boat, such as ferrous metals, electric fields, and so on. There are small magnets built into the ship's compass to correct for most of these influences, and this is achieved by swinging the compass in order to determine and correct the errors. Normally, this is best done by a professional compass swinger. Any deviation left not corrected is then noted and tabulated in a deviation table. Using the deviation table, a magnetic bearing can then be corrected to achieve a compass bearing, in other words, the course to steer. So now let's work on applying these corrections. The acronym TVMDC stands for True, Variation, Magnetic, Deviation, and finally, compass. The mnemonic TV makes dull children Saturday evening will help you remember the order and that you need to subtract easterly corrections and add westerly corrections when converting from true to magnetic. Conversely, if you're working in the other direction, C, D, M, V, T, you would add easterly and subtract westerly corrections. Here, the mnemonic can dead men vote twice at Easter might help as a memory aid. Finally, a third option, which I personally like, is cadet. When converting from compass to true, add east. I've also drawn up this plotting sheet, which will be available in the show notes on our website. Here, it is just a matter of plugging in the numbers and applying the correct conversion found as a reminder in the far right column. So let's work through an example. Starting with a true bearing of 0, 090 degrees, and a corrected variation for 2021 of 016.5 degrees east, 
we subtract the easterly variation, which gives us a magnetic bearing of 073.5 degrees. Remember, a magnetic bearing does not take deviation into account. Using our deviation table, we determine that for a course of 073.5 degrees magnetic, we experience 003 degrees of westerly deviation, which we then add to our magnetic bearing, resulting in a compass course of 076.5 or 075 degrees as our course to steer. It is easier with a typical sailing compass to steer to the nearest multiple of 5. A hand bearing compass, as opposed to the ship's compass, should be used to shoot bearings. Hand bearing compasses cannot practically be evaluated or corrected for deviation. So in practice, a hand bearing compass bearing is considered a magnetic bearing and labeled on charts as M for magnetic, indicating that deviation has not been corrected for. To prevent deviation while using a hand bearing compass, strive to stay away from influences like other compasses, radio speakers, electrical fields, and so on. New episodes go up every second Wednesday at 6 p.m. See you next time when I talk about how to use these converted bearings in basic plotting. Thanks for watching. Until then, I wish you all fair winds and following seas.